It's a little messy, but it's still fun. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Kingsman 2, The Golden Circle. I was a huge fan of the first film. I gave it a 6 out of 7 of my ratings. The only thing that I said that I had a little bit of an issue with was just the idea that it wasn't a rewatchable film. That It didn't make me want to watch it again immediately. Otherwise, it was a fantastic film. Matthew Vaughn truly probably made one of the best films of his entire collection. And it was pretty big news when he announced that he was going to make a sequel. Which is something he's never done. He's never touched a sequel. He didn't touch Kick-Ass 2. He didn't make another X-Men movie. He did help with the story aspects. But Kingsman, The Golden Circle, is the first time he's ever done a sequel. And it shows why. He doesn't do sequels. Kingsman 2 takes place a little bit after the first film. Uh, the villain of this film is Julianne Moore, who's basically the Starbucks of all form of drugs. She you know, has monopolized the drug industry and market. And what she's doing is she's basically poisoning all of her customers, everyone who's ever taken a drug, she's poisoned them. And unless the US president legalizes drugs in the US, all forms, uh, they will all die. So, it's the first movie all over again, really, but a lot less complicated and a lot less intrusive. The thing that made the first film so well was that Samuel L. Jackson, we pretty much knew he was going to be the villain, but it wasn't outright said. We had a lot of interesting moments where Colin Firth's character would meet with him and kind of figure out who he was, Whereas in this one, right off the bat, she's evil. Also, the beginning of the film is terribly edited. There's a lot of parts where it just jumps back to Julianne Moore for no other reason than maybe a funny gag. But otherwise, her involvement in the first half of the movie is mute. There is a really great action scene that starts off at the beginning of the film. Really good car chase. If anything, the kinetic feeling that I had from the first film carries over entirely with the camera movement during all action scenes. It feels like it's yo-yoing, but it's really on point, and it's always really focused on the action, which is great. And there is a little bit more of an emotional element, especially with Colin Firth's character returning in this film, and... Iggy and him re re reuniting and kind of working through his issues as well as some trust issues. The idea of the statesman is a really good idea. However, if you were really wanting to see this movie for Channing Tatum, he basically gets G.I. Joe'd. I'm not kidding. He's in it for like 10 minutes. Maybe. However, the thing that still really suffers in this film is just Julianne Moore as a villain. She's kind of a funny character when you think about it, but in terms of just having to step up after what Samuel Jackson was and how that genius wasn't able to do to the Kingsman, which Julianne Moore is able to do in the first five, eh, first 12 minutes, is a little bit insulting. So, again, that part was weak. However, Iggy is great. Merlin's great. The Statesmen is actually, they're pretty well introduced. And there's this really cool connectivity between the two. And I actually like how certain aspects are... There's a few twists and turns that admittedly I thought were really good. And the latter half of the film is great. The first half is very messy. It's kind of all over the place. But then the second half is when the film finds its direction and it heads in that way full steam ahead. However, as I said, this film just doesn't have the same oomph as the first one does. There's a lot of moments you'd be sitting there going, mm, the first one did it better. They try to do a continuous shot like they did in the first one, but the first one, you're never going to beat that. You're never going to. So I don't know why they really tried it, because the scene had an interesting ending, but in all honesty, I didn't think it was great. Oh, mind you, there is a cameo in this film who keeps on coming back and you don't get sick of him, which is something I thought would happen. However, he's hilarious. Also, his fuck you is hilarious too. And you'll understand what I mean when you see it. In the end, Kingsman The Golden Circle is a little bit of a messy ride at first and it readjusts itself and it heads towards a clear path. It's definitely not as good as the first film. The villain aspect is a lot less intriguing. There is still a aspect of the film that actually still kind of communicates with what I felt in the first one, which is I wasn't really... I could kind of side with what Samuel L. Jackson's plan was in the first film, 
it was something that was a considerable idea. This one, sort of the same thing, but it doesn't work too well. However, Bruce Greenwood as the president is hysterical. It's really funny when he gets all this laid out on his platter and he laughs at it. It's, it's really good. I love his scenes are some of my favorite in the entire film. Kingsman 2 is a fun time. It's definitely messy. It's got some issues, but I still think it's an alright time. So in the end, my rating for Kingsman, the Golden Circle, is a 4 out of 7. It's an enjoyable time, it's not going to be as memorable as the first film, and basically it will make you want to watch the first film again, but either way, I had a fun time, it had some funny jokes, it had some good action, that's the most you can expect, especially when we got a sequel to Mr. Matthew Vaughn's work. Anyways guys, that's all from me, I hope you enjoyed this review, see you guys next time.